and welcome to this Scratch Junior tutorial. This is tutorial number nine, where we'll be making characters talk to each other. So let's begin with a new project. I'm going to make this a school scene. So let's find a school setting background. Like this one and press the tick. I'm going to choose four different characters this time. We don't need Scratch, so let's hold down until it jiggles and press the X. And we're going to choose a teacher. Let's choose a teacher. And we want three students. Okay. So let's position them in different places. So we've got one, two, three students, and we'll put our teacher up here near the whiteboard. So now it's time to start programming. We'll be using our message blocks like we did in the last tutorial. So we'll be experimenting with different colors of those this time. So let's begin with our teacher code. And we'll start with a green flag. And we're going to use two purple message blocks. Let's put them here next to each other. The first speech bubble is going to say welcome. And the second one is going to say, my name is Mr. Summerell. And the teacher is going to say that to all the students. So we're going to use an orange message block, which can be found in our yellow start blocks here. So we're going to choose an envelope one of the closed envelopes and put that there and close off the code with a red end block. Now our teacher actually has a few different types of code um, because they're going to have a conversation, but we're going to come back to that one in just a moment. We're going to go to our next child, our first student, sorry, and we're going to go to our start blocks. And for this one, we're going to start with a open message one. And this means that this code will start after the teacher has spoken. And this one here, we're going to add a message block. And it will say, hi, my name is Cody. You can put your name there if you like. And this student is going to send a message block, this one here, to another student. But because we've already got an orange message block, we need to change the color. So we're going to change this one to green. And then we can end that code. Let's go to our next student and their code will start with a green message block. So let's grab the start and change it to green. It's opening the green message. It's going to say something as well. So we need a speech box and let's change this to, hi, my name is Mackenzie. Perfect. And we're going to use one more message block. So let's go back to our yellow ones. And it is going to send a different color again because now we've got two greens, two oranges, and let's choose blue. And we can end that code there. Now let's go to our next student, our final one. And it's opening a blue envelope. So let's grab our envelope button and change it to blue. It's going to say a message as well. Hi, my name is Billy. And this is going to send a message back to the teacher. So like I said before, there's lots of messages in this one and we need to choose a different color. So let's make this one red and an end block. 
and the last message is being said back to the teacher. So let's add one more little bit of code to the teacher and we'll need a red envelope to start it and another speech bubble. And because the teacher has met all their new students, we can just say it is nice to meet you all. And that's it. So that's a small bit of code. So out of all the tutorials we've done, this has the most code. And let's see what this looks like when we press the green flag. Welcome. My name is Mr. Summerall. Hi, my name is Cody. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. Hi, my name is Billy. It's nice to meet you all. So can you add movement to this scene when you try to make it? And now that you know how you can send messages from one character to another, can you make a relay race? Your turn to have a go. Thanks for watching and remember you can find an easy to follow version of this tutorial by visiting the Scratch Junior website which is linked in the description below. Until next time, happy coding. Thank you.